I want to try and provide some insight into the utility of wealth. So if we have utility as a function of wealth, then we expect certain properties. Okay, the first one is, is that the first derivative with respect to wealth is greater than zero. That is, utility increases with wealth. Now, the second property that we consider is what's the person's aversion to risk? Now, if the second derivative is less than zero, we know that utility is increasing at a decreasing rate, so that person is risk averse. If the second derivative equals zero, utility is increasing at a constant rate, and this is somebody who's risk neutral. And finally, if the second derivative is greater than zero, utility is increasing at an increasing rate. That is, this person likes risk. So let's take a look at um, a few utility functions here. So suppose utility is equal to um, w squared, where w is greater than equal, or equal to zero. Okay, or that utility is equal to the square root of w, or utility is equal to the log of 1 plus a constant times w. Okay, and uh, we can get even more complicated than that. Utility equals a constant times w minus b um, e raised to the minus cw power. And then finally, utility um, equals a times w squared plus b times w. And I've given the uh, conditions for a, b, and c um, on the uh, table here, on the slide here. So, you know, when you see these, perhaps the first one you'll recognize as, a, as a, an exponential function and you have a visual of that, okay? The second one, Maybe, and it's a very common utility function uh, that gets used, the square root of wealth. You know, you might have, have an idea of what that looks like, or that's pretty easy to differentiate. The first two are easy to take the first and second derivative. But once you get to the third, fourth, and fifth one, they're harder to differentiate, and it's harder to get a grasp of what's going on here. Now, the mistake that a lot of people make, myself included, is that, you know, we try and we look at these functions, perhaps we try and differentiate them, but we don't, the best way to get a visual is simply to plot them. So let's see what we have here. So I have some graphs here. So this one is utility plotted as uh, wealth squared. So I just have a bunch of different wealth numbers here, and you can use anything you want. I went from zero um, to 700, and I went up by fives, but you could use essentially anything you wanted to. And I simply, over here, just used Excel to compute the square of what wealth was. So I put in here C4, um, C4 uh, raised to the second power, and I copied the formula down, and then I graphed it. And you can graph the, uh, the data in Excel by simply highlighting the cells and going to insert. Now I really like to use recommended charts. If you have an idea of what it would look like, okay, we don't want a bar graph here. So it's this one here. Now I'm not going to, and then you hit OK. I'm not going to do that because I've already plotted the data. But you can see here that this is a case of where the second derivative is positive and that we have um, you know, a risk lover. That is, as wealth increases, um, it increases at an increasing rate. How about wealth as the, uh, how about utility as the square root of wealth? Well, again, I've just plotted the data. And here I just use the square root function to take the square root of these different values. And I can see that I have this concave function that is, if I took the second derivative, it would be negative. So that is, wealth is increasing at a decreasing rate. This happens to be the case where we have um, risk aversion. 
Okay, how about some of those more complicated functions? Okay, where uh, wealth is a function of the log of 1 plus CW. And again, I've plotted it, and we can see here that this is going to be a person who is risk averse. And in fact, I put C up here, but you can change C to see how the shape changes. Um, it doesn't really change, it shifts the, the numbers there, but it doesn't really change per se. But this is a nice way to get an idea of what's going on here. Okay. Likewise, with again, another complicated utility function here where um, wealth is A times wealth, A times W minus B raised E to the um, minus CW. And there are different values for these numbers. Now, this looks like a straight line looks to be somebody who's risk neutral. And finally, this curve here where it's AW squared plus BW. And again, you can change the values of A and B. You just put the formula in here and you get this curve here, which again looks like somebody who is risk loving because it's a convex shape. So there's a little simple thing you can do to get a better grasp of some of these utility functions. Okay, oftentimes we just look at these and you know we have no idea what's going on. And the simplest thing to do is to plot the data using Excel to get a visual on what's going on. So I hope that's helpful and I hope that helps you to visualize you know some of these abstract utility functions when you're working on a problem.